It's an early morning game, you know, we gotta come out here and get warm. You know, it's a little chilly, but not for me, you know. You know, I'm wearing tights though, so you know, just to keep my legs moving, keep the blood flowing. It feel good out here with 80 degrees, with the sun out. You know it's gonna be good. Feel good, you look good, you know. I'm glad we in the boat. I'd rather be nowhere else. Well, then, of course, you got a brand new quarterback, Jordan Tiamu, and he's been the number one guy all week. So, tell us about that. He's been comfortable in his position. Absolutely. You know, I think um, he's got every rep, you know, with the twos the whole time, and the ones and twos get equal reps. Everybody wants to know why. Well, that's why. It's because when the opportunity presents itself, they got to step up. Well, it's a big day. We wish you luck and uh, come out here with a victory. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Howdy, Todd. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We got Hawaiian fruit punch in the huddle right now. Hey, let's go ahead and handle business right now, guys. Let's go. Hey, family on three. One, two, three. Family! Family! Not many people are in our culture getting this opportunity, you know what I mean? Take advantage of it. I will. Put them on the map. I will. You know what I mean? Do what you're doing, man. You know what we talked about last night? Hey, we got plenty to play for. We got, hey, hey, we got plenty to play for. Hey, 27 days left. 27 days together. Let's enjoy this one. Come on. Let's have a day. Okay. Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's have a day, my man. Let's have a day. Come on. Come on, dog. I got you. Let's go. With a new starter at the helm, a fast start was imperative, and the supporting Rebel cast would provide just that. Here's the next snap, and that's going to be a handoff. Wilkins, he breaks clear off the right side. He's a 40. He's gone, baby. Hey, he's gone. How about that? 10, 5, touchdown, Ole Miss, and the Rebels dash Arkansas. All day. That's where to start fast, baby. Oh, you wait, man, sir. Hey, that was a, that, that was a gimme, though. That was a gimme. We'll take them. <laughs> The Wilkins strike from 64 yards out would immediately take the pressure off Ta'amu, allowing the offense to get into rhythm. He's got a man wide open down the far sidelines, drops it in the bucket for a catch inside the 30 and out of bounds with it is Demarcus Lodge. What a throw, what a catch. You, you're concerned about this kid's arm? He can sling it. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Back to snap again, play action. Diamo wants to throw, fires to the end zone. He's got it, caught at the one yard line, just shy of the goal line. Jumbo, jumbo, jumbo. Jumbo package, David. We got we got offensive linemen that are gonna be fullbacks right here. The give is to Eric, straight ahead. He follows those big bodies into the end zone, just like that. The Rebels take the lead again on the TD. It's 13 to seven. Boom, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. See you now. Oh, God. Keep rolling on them. We just gotta keep stepping on them. We just gotta keep, keep driving down the field. Back to throw. Tiamu fires it over the middle and hauled in. Get the first down. Get the first down. Get the first down. Big target. Big catch. Big run for the big guy. Third and four. Tiamu wants to throw. Quarterback draw. Keeps it straight in the middle. First down and more. Go Jordan. Go Jordan. Go Jordan. Go Jordan. He's in the 30. He may outrun him. He's in the 15, 10, 5. In the end zone. Touchdown. Ole Miss. <laughs> I want to see it on tape. I want to see moment of truth. I want to see strange. You understand that? We go in there tomorrow. I want to see five guys flying around. Take this on your back and let's go win this. You got it? Let's go. And what would be a fast and furious offensive start for the Rebels? Ole Miss would put the Hogs on their heels in the early goings. 27 yard line right hash. It's a 37 yard kick. The right footer kicks it and he's got plenty of distance and it's good. That's it, good kick. Come on. That's it. Alex, tell them right now. Tell the old line, man, they're on the ropes right now. This is that point. They're on the ropes right now. The Hogs were indeed on the ropes, taking body blows, and the right handed Tamu would keep on pounding. There's a snap to Jordan. He's going to look to throw. Out to the far side. That's Metcalf. He breaks a tackle. He's down the sidelines. 40, 35, 30. Hit knocked out of bounds. It was one on one. That reminds you kind of the treadwell days. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. The Amu spins out of trouble, throws it up in the air. A.J. Brown brings it down inside the 10 yard line. Hey, Jordan throwing dives right now. Jordan throwing dives. Yeah, 
Hawaii. That way. Hawaii. That way. Play action fake. Keeping it. Damu runs left side. He's in the end zone right in front of the pylon. Woo, there you go. There you go, Coach. That's it, baby. Another yeah. Russian you know touchdown for 10. Right you know here. Tell Back to Hawaii. Percy. You know what I tell him? Aloha. Hey, 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 hey. Welcome to the beach. The beginning stages of the game were anything but a vacation for the Hogs, leaving them in a hole and in desperate need of a break. Zips it between two defenders, caught by Cooley. He's still running to the 50. Hold the ball, hold the ball, hold the ball. Ah, they finally get him on the ground, the 30. The ball comes out. Now, did he lose it before he hit the ground or not? Arkansas has recovered it. He was carrying it kind of like a loaf of bread. Pump fakes, has the first down and touchdown. And he got rocked right at the goal line. A 15-yard scramble. On the ensuing possession, the Rebels seemed poised to respond to the Razorback score. But an Arkansas interception and late touchdown would turn the momentum heading into the locker room. Coach, cliche sometimes when we talk about turnovers, but you go from 30.7 to a 10-point game. Yeah, you know, I, I thought Cooley made a good play. He just got to hold on to the football. And then it looked like that was one of Jordan's few bad plays in the, in the first half. Like threw it a little bit behind him. What did you think of Jordan Tomo in the first half? You know, I thought he was good. You know, for, you know, for his first start, thought he was really good. Thanks a lot. Thank you. If there was ever a case for a tale of two halves, this was it. The Rebels had dominated half number one, but the Razorbacks would find their groove in the final three minutes. On the left hash, they give it on a jet sweep to the left. That's Nance. Nance gets to the 30, 35, 40. He breaks in the clear at midfield. He's to the Rebel 40, and then tackled from behind by Hartsfield around the 32. Play action pass, swings it near side. He's got a screen to the five, to the goal line, and diving in for the touchdown is Cheyenne O'Grady. And the Razorbacks have definitely climbed back into this one. Hey, y'all do know we're still ahead, right? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. All right, let's go. All right, we need y'all. Let's go. Hey, it's a four-quarter game, man. Hey, this ain't ever day. It's supposed to be easy. Hey. Right, four-quarter game. Let's go. Keep playing. Play. Keep playing. Keep playing. Kelly to throw, has time in the pocket, looks deep, it's overshot and intercepted at the 15-yard line by Javian Hamilton, and the Rebels get the stop. Despite a valiant effort by the Landshark defense, the Rebels still found themselves hanging on to a slim nine-point lead late in the game, leaving no room for mistakes. Loose football, Arkansas scoops it up, heading to the end zone. Kevin Richardson with the pick off the floor and the touchdown. That's how you get right back in it. They fumbled the mess. The scoop and score by Arkansas had cut the lead to two. And with time running out, the Razorbacks had the ball and a chance to once again come into Vaught Hemingway and upset the Rebels. Snap back and down, and a kick is on its way, and the kick is going to be good. And Arkansas, with five seconds left, leads by a score of 38 to 37. The Razorbacks literally pulled this one out of the fire, and their magic at Vaughn Hemingway Stadium continues. I don't, I don't have, I don't have the magic words to make the hurt go away. What I can tell you is that I'm grateful to you guys. I'm grateful to you guys that you continue to fight. And I want so, I want so bad for y'all to experience some success. I love you guys and I appreciate y'all for just continuing to fight, continuing to battle. And that's all we're gonna do. We're gonna come back to work again and we're gonna go back to work and we're gonna keep fighting. We're gonna keep fighting. We're gonna go on the road. We're gonna play Kentucky. We're gonna keep fighting. And then so sooner or later, people will say, "Well, these guys, they just keep getting up off the, off the mat." And we're going to every time. We'll just keep getting up. And we'll keep battling. And you keep fighting. Another tough loss. It sounded like a broken record. And uh, proud of the kids that continue to get up off the mat and keep fighting. Um, we just got to keep working and take care of business. We can't turn the ball over uh, to win and win football games in the SEC. But uh, proud of uh, proud of the kids. Uh, for fighting and competing and um, 
just got to just got to keep working and try to get over the hump. I mean, that's one thing that 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 saddens those kids down there playing hard. You don't see no quit on them. You don't see them get tired. They got to execute, you know. And then we all got to do a better job. But there's no quit in that locker room. Uh, those guys don't surrender to fatigue. And uh, we just got to execute. We got to execute more plays than our opponent. And we didn't do that today. You know, our, our the emphasis this week I thought uh, was to get off to a good start. And we wanted to do some things schematically to help him do that. Uh, I think he played real well for his first start and the preparation he put in. I thought he did a great job. Uh, I just got to go in tomorrow, uh, come in here and watch film and uh, learn from my mistakes. Um, even though this was my first uh, SEC start, so that's a learning experience. And uh, just carry on and uh, focus on uh, Kentucky this week, and everyone's ready for that.